What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are getting back into the GTR and I gotta say, today's video should be a good one. So if you guys have been following me along, you would have clearly been seeing that we're making some crazy progress on the car. Last we did was get the whole floor pan all primed up after all of our repairs have been done. And guys, I gotta say, this came out absolutely flawless. It's incredible. It, it, it just, I, wow. At the moment, I really want to try and dial in everything that needs to be done behind the quarter panel. Reason being, I really want to get this quarter panel fully installed because I want to get these things welded on the car. Maybe not fully because I'll, we'll get to that. Because I really would like to just install them off of the rotisserie on the body car as it sits right now. And then I need to actually just get it back on the rotisserie to complete some stuff and then as well as undercoat the, uh, the bottom side of the car. So a lot of stuff still yet to do, but... I want to take you guys along with me and everything that I'm doing because it's really cool to kind of show you guys how it starts, how it's going, and how it ends. So at the moment, let me just quickly show you guys what I'm about to do to get this, this whole area prepped. So a lot of work has gone down. We're going to go over all the, the repairs and stuff like that in another video, but at the moment, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up these welds here because I had to remake. Well, uh, actually, all of this is all remade, and then this actual piece in here. I so I actually had to remake this flange here along with all of this actually so all this has all been all of this has all been uh, remade as well still in the works obviously that's what we're going to get to today and finish it off and then i also remade the back the back side so that's that's what these welds are right here so we'll get that all cleaned up got to complete this corner as well as this corner and then clean up the inside of the wheel well but we're not focusing on that and then everything else is looking really good. Just clean up some surface rust. And one more little spot we have to go ahead and patch is, is this guy right here because, because well, here are the remains of what used to be there. So that's obviously gone. So that's gonna get welded in. And apart from that, just final cleanup. We should be good to go. All right, guys, so we made some good progress. I mean, I was just kind of poking around on here, but my majority of the time, as you can see, I cleaned up some welds and just kind of some pinhole stuff here and there, finalized some welding along the arch. And by the way, I mean, I got to say, rebuilding this whole arch was quite the mission, but we got it done. For the past hour, been working on, if you guys recall from the last GTR build video, we were kind of messing around with our absolutely destroyed fuel door area. Definitely took a bit of time, but I think it's it fits up absolutely beautifully. So this... As you guys can see, just kind of will line up and fit like that. And then this guy just kind of sits on this side. Yeah, this piece right here, oh man, it may not look like a lot, but dude, making this out of one piece was, uh, it was a mission. That's for sure. But I just wanted to test my skills. And obviously, you know, it's, you, you got to start somewhere, right? And I think it's perfectly imperfect. You know what I'm saying? For something that's handmade and literally used nothing but hammer and dolly, you know, it's, um, it's cool. I think it, I think it worked out pretty well. Man, I, I'm losing track of time, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just doing six million things at once, man. And it's just, oh, brother. All right, but big news, big news. You guys remember how bad my fuel door was? Look at this. Come on now. Come on. This came out absolutely beautiful. Really, really happy about this. I was dreading making this piece for whatever reason. I just thought it would be a little bit too complex and whatnot. But dude, just get out there and try stuff, man. Just, just, this just goes to show you. Like, it's like mind over matter type shit, you know? You can do it. Like you just, if you think you can, you can do it. It's just one of those things, man. Just got to keep believing, dude. So, um, that's great. Moving on. Been busy getting the whole inside of the quarter panel all sanded and scuffed up because we're getting to the point where I'm almost ready, man. I'm almost ready to get the whole quarter panel installed and welded up. Now that also means that we have to get this whole area, the skeleton part of the car all prepped as well. I mean, you guys see, we have rebuilt this whole inner arch structure, everything. I mean, it's all looking so damn good, and I'm just so pleased with, with the progress. It's, it's just beautiful. Everything is better than new. We're going to go ahead and apply 2K epoxy up in here, which is going to be 10 times better than the E-coat. And I know a lot of you guys think that E-coat is, like, the best. But, dude, so many instances where I've been sanding and coming, you know, sanding around some stuff, and you bust through the E-coat, and there's rust hiding behind it. So E-coat's just, like, a cheap, budget-friendly thing to use on an assembly line. We are going all out with some 2K epoxy. These are the types of things that you guys can expect if you bring your car over to me. We just take the extra mile, man, and we take 
time and we just use the best products that we can. It's worth it. Also just went ahead and we just welded in this patch piece right here. As you guys recall, this whole area was all rotted out, but I just gotta go ahead and cut that flange down. So that's all that's left there. Yeah, this is crazy. Seeing, I mean, literally from, from like here all the way down, here all the way up, all of this was rebuilt. I mean, it's crazy. All of this, all of that, all of that. It's just wild. It, it, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but you know what I mean? It's just cool to see it. Dude, I'm telling you, man, just go out there and try something because you might impress yourself. You, because, brother, I was worried. I was just stressing. I don't know, like I said, I was stressing so hard about this damn piece, but look at it. I mean, look at how nice it came out. Everything fits. I mean, everything, the little wins, man. The little wins are just great to see. And something like this, man, it was so messy and destroyed before. And now seeing it, it's, it's brand new. So yeah, I just wanted to get everything all test fit once again, especially with that new piece. Since we modified it, made sure everything all fit up and lined up nicely, especially down at the bottom. We're about, we're about ready to start final prepping for paint and primer on the inside of these panels. And before you know it, guys, this quarter panel is going to be welded on the car. Come on, man. Everything's just too good. Everything's so good, man. Woo-wee. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Mally Motor Works. Shoot me an email. Let's get you in the shop. All right, guys. At the point where I'm basically getting everything prepped and ready for, uh, for painting, essentially. So everything is clamped up how I want it and exactly in its place. That kind of takes us to, well, I found a couple things that I still need to do, of course. So if we come inside the wheel well, you guys are about to see how things come together here. So you guys can see this right there. We've got that to fix and we've got this to take care of. So as you guys can see, this is all part of the process, right? So this is the backside of the weld. So we've got to clean all that up. And then after it's all weld or cleaned up with the grinder, we'll see if we have any, you know, spots where we need to get another tack in there to make sure everything is all welded properly but you can see here that we have a little bit of rot away at this panel. So, and then also at the back of this panel, you guys can see this piece is all just torn and broken. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. This is what actually the rear bumper bracket goes through here. So uh, that's how the rear bumper is secured. But yeah, you guys see it, man. The rough, the rough moments, you know, before it's all finished up, that's kind of what it looks like, man. So I'll show you guys how it looks like when we're complete and you guys can see how, uh, how it transforms. All right, so a uh, quick shout out to Sh uh, Steve. Steve. Quick shout out to Steve from SR Auto Bodies. If you guys aren't aware of who SR Auto Bodies are, absolute legends, man. Steve is an absolute OG when it comes to Skyline Restoration. I honestly owe a lot of my work here to him. Um, his he's motivated me, and kind of um, his work has, I guess, motivated me to be better and whatnot. So he actually just told me that these are just drains, and I kind of thought so. So we have two on this side. Well, one on this side. He said just to just to get rid of that one too. And then, and then we're going to obviously get rid of that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to focus on this side for now so we can kind of get this whole quarter panel situated. But yeah, so good to know that we can just get rid of it. It's a drain. You don't need it. I don't plan to have water in there. Yes, we are aware that uh, we still need to uh, find some Step one, make myself a little tape template. All right, all right. Got our pieces made up and in place. You guys can see that one's looking great, fitting up great. And then this guy back here kind of tucked. My dudes, it is the next morning. I actually slept at the shop last night, so don't mind if I'm looking a little bit rough. It's the next morning. It just got late. I just, you know what I mean? But guys, check this out. So as you recall, I was working on this little area right there. You can see we got it all filled in with our new patch piece looking great. Back here, same deal. And we're just looking good. So things are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. Seeing this, just knowing that we're literally about to go ahead and apply some epoxy on here is mind blowing, man. This is wild. Look at this. So the whole tape, the reason for the tape, I guess, is uh, well, where we're spraying is gonna be epoxy and behind the tape is gonna be a well through primer as well as another Another material, which I will get into that when we get in, into installing the panel itself, we'll get there. 
stay tuned. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So same thing along with the chassis, where the where the paint it or the, where the tape is, we're gonna apply our products, uh, our, our other products. So let's go ahead, guys. I'm super. I'm just pumped, man. Everything is prepped up, looking great. This e coat that comes on these panels, you don't want to keep it. It's not great. E coat's not the best, man. It's just cheap. It's efficient. It's it's good for a production line type stuff. But if you can use yourself an epoxy, ten times better. I mean, just looking at close-ups, man, everything is beautiful. So much work has gone into this back little inner skeleton. It's, I can't even put it into words, so much work. I even stripped off the little rubber. If you guys know what this is, this is just like the little harness um, band. This holds the wiring harness. You kind of fold it and it crimps it up. Removed all the rubber that was on there. There was a bit of rust on there, so I actually have a good idea as to how to reapply a new layer of rubber in a very clean manner, so stay tuned for that. But you know, just little details like that, guys. We're going all the way. This thing is looking absolutely crazy. Very happy. All the repairs, I mean, you can't even tell that I even did anything. Let me just cut the talking. Let's go ahead and mix up some paint, and uh, let's get this sprayed up, man. It's gonna be a big moment. Oh yeah, what's good guys? It is the next morning. I actually left the shop yesterday just because the fumes were crazy. So we're actually looking good. Everything is dried up really well. The shop does not smell of paint whatsoever. So that does mean that we're actually cured up really nice. Check it out. I think everything came out sweet. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let's, uh, let's get this tape peeled off. Well, there's about four bucks in tape. I really hope you guys are stoked to see this just as much as I am. Seeing all of this in primer, especially just, it's just, it's just wild, man. I know, I know I'm just repeating myself over and over again, but wow, so much work, man. Now that leads me to, I guess, installing it. I have some questions. So as you guys know from the factory, these things get like spot well with like this big fancy machine. I don't have that machine. Here's where I need your advice, I guess. Advice, recommendations, Maybe that's a better word. So if anyone out there works at a body shop or does this type of work, please let me know what you what your opinion is on this because Steve from SR Auto Bodies doesn't, he doesn't actually use a spot welder, he just plug welds everything. And you know, that I could go that route, but personally, I kind of want to go ahead and just find a way to get things professionally welded up like it would be in the factory, just with a quick, 
clamp. You know those tools that I'm talking about? I'll throw a picture on the screen maybe. Uh, I do not want to get the Harbor Freight one, so don't, don't recommend that. There is like this uh, Italian unit. I can't remember the brand name, but it's about 2,500 bucks, I think, shipped. Um, do I want to invest in that right now? I'm thinking about it. We'll see. Ideally, I would just like to find like a body shop locally. I could just take it and just take it, just quickly do it and then get the tool a little bit later when I'm settled into my next location. Because as you guys know, I'm moving this summer again. And it's not a short move. It's not an easy move again. It's going to be a massive move. So got a lot to plan for, for sure. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. I, I would love to find a shop here in town that I could just take the chassis to and have them just go ahead and get those welds taken care of. I, um, I have some techniques and some methods that I want to go ahead and put into practice that uh, are going to help strengthen the chassis and make it a little bit more rigid, especially considering we are going to be pushing more power than the car was originally built for. We want to get a little bit more structure, structural integrity in the chassis. So stay tuned for all that, but that that will come once the quarter panels actually get fully welded. For the time being, what I might just do is just weld it up slightly, a few just actual plug welds here and there, especially where I've drilled a hole to toss like my, my, um, my Clico pins or a self tapper just to hold things in place. I can go ahead and get those welded up, but for the long term, I think it'd be really nice and really professional to go ahead and get it done properly. Those that are curious what I'm talking about, that's, that's like a factory plug weld just right there. You guys can see it's just basically a machine that comes in and clamps the two metals together and welds them. There's no cleanup. It makes things super simple, very clean, and it looks OEM. Now I know all the spots that are going to be hit with the plug weld, you're not going to see them. You know, they'll never be seen. The only spot that I think you would see is maybe like here in the trunk area when you open the boot up in here. We'll see. But one thing that's kind of caught my attention is I don't even know if the tool will be able to go up in here and clamp it. Maybe it will with the specific type of jaw, but just with how little room there is up here for the tool to operate and move, it might make it tough, but obviously it was done from factory, so there must be a way, obviously, right? But yeah, that's going to be it for today. I just wanted to get you guys input here at the end as to what you think I should do. I personally would love to go ahead and do like the professional route. Obviously, that's going to take more time and effort and money. But um, again, it's one of those things where this type of project, maybe it's worth it. I'm about to get this video up for you guys. I'm sorry I'm late on today's upload. I really do apologize. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to be it for today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't. We got a lot of cool stuff on the way. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.